and find the data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Shootings have been reported along the 1, 166... Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. It couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scavs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You want to talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data back to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. Sandra, it's me, V. I got your data bank. Sandra? You in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, um, friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, no, no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? If it's not the scavs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything? It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? I'm a professional. I have a reputation to uphold. Hmm. Good. Then here you go, for your professionalism. I threw in a little extra for minding your own data. Thanks. Be seeing you.
No. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think Got I'm... no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you... Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here wow. to- Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob. Also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick them. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. I haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk and parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. 
It's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel, is that enough for you? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you There's still quite a bit there. Thanks. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. He's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone.
Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh, never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I don't remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Well, stay out of your hair then. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? <laughs> Does something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another. My, that was quick. Got a little help from yours truly.
Carbiz won't settle itself. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Nothing here. Not here. Hmm. Well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You, you have, have to, to put, put it in the reader! Well, V, the card in the reader? There's nothing. talk about I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me but why are you doing this because it's important to you but is that all I sorry that sounded worse than I intended listen V I I'm sorry I'm not very good at this Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you... I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? 
Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could still Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jack. The Scorpion. talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. 
But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the Basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.
All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but... Then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. 
Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I am sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. <laughs> Maman Brigitte. That sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. You hear about Santiago? Used to be a nomad, long time ago. Ever heard of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Why is folks suddenly recollecting Santiago? Friend of mine did a job with him once. That's one old friend you got. He's a legend, all right. Wouldn't say he was my role model, but well, he was the man for his time and place. You don't think he was all he was cracked up to be? They say he was a big city nomad, best of both worlds. Except there ain't no such thing. You're either loyal to your family, or you ain't. Doesn't loyalty to your friends count for something? Maybe it does, but then you end up like Santiago. He snuffed it because some lunatic wanted to blow Arasaka to smithereens. What a friend. We can conversate later. Hello, mister. Ah. got other business. I too have got things to do, you know. Wish I were on the road. 